Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made our way to the top of the Pokemon Tower, and a ghost stopped us from proceeding on any further. So now we're here in Celadon City. There's some Team Rocket grunts, and we're gonna explore this place. Celadon looks wonderful. Check it out, check it out. They've done a fantastic job of bringing this place to life. And let's just talk to some of the people around here. The department store is here. The game corner is here. So there's going to be lots for us to do. I hope you guys are having a good Sunday and that you are enjoying your weekend. I've been having a lot of fun watching some football and enjoying mine. So let's step inside of the game corner. Hey, what's going on, dude? You've run out of game coins. Also, please don't touch the walls in the game corner without permission. All right, so we're here in the game corner. We got ourselves a tough candy, and I like this place. Can we do a little bit of uh, shagambling around here? Can we, you know, toss a couple polka dollars around? Oh, look! There! Come on! Almost got it! Oh, so close! Come on, Jesse! Why don't we head to the hideout now? Oh, come on! We've already handed over the cube bone to another Team Rocket member! What's the harm in taking a little break? How are we supposed to open the hidden entrance to the hideout anyway? We just need to check the poster with a vehicle on it, remember? The poster with a vehicle, that's the best way to represent us. So Team Rocket is also here gambling. Hey, what's up guys? You got any couple coins for a couple of people that are trying to gamble? So let's just talk to all the peeps around here. It's very, very cool to see the game corner brought to life. I want to give myself a couple of games in as well. So we're going to have to find ourselves a coin case. And as you guys can see, there's a guy blocking a poster back here, too. I'm gotten this poster. Go away. Or else. Or else what? Here we go, guys. Rodri versus our first Team Rocket grunt of today. Team Rocket is going to send out Eradicate. And now I got the one, the only, the Vision up in front. So let's see what Vision can do. You already know Vision has been doing a fantastic job during this adventure. We've been taking out Pokemon left and right. I wouldn't have it any other way. So let's make sure we keep that pace up. Thankfully, the Raticate is level 29. So it's not higher level than us. The rest of our team still needs a little bit of training. Since they're all coming up on level 30. But I think we'll be okay for now. And there we go. We defeated the Team Rocket Grunt. He seems so surprised. At this rate, the location of Team Rocket Hideout is going to be discovered. I better tell the boss. So look, there's a rocket here. Hey! A switch behind the poster. Let's push it. We heard a loud sound echo from somewhere on this floor. Oh, there we have it. A, a brand new entrance has opened. And this entrance has led us to the Team Rocket Hideout. So here we are. Here we are in the Team Rocket hideout in Celadon City. The Team Rocket hideout can be a tough place, so make sure you guys are prepared. Let's jump into the battle today and let's get this thing going. I've been having a lot of fun playing through this game. So let's see how much fun we're going to have whooping down some Team Rocket grunts today. Now, coughing is a poison type, so our psychic moves are going to be doing a lot of damage to it. It's pretty good to have a Psychic type Pokemon when you're going up against Team Rocket since they do use a lot of poison. Radita, Come on now, Radita, We'll take you out too. Don't you worry about that. Don't you worry about that one bit. That side beam should just about do it. I like it. I like it. There's also going to be a lot of grunts for us to battle here. So this will probably be the place where we get enough XP to evolve the rest of our Pokemon. Without a doubt, it could happen here. It could happen today. I've been looking forward to us adding a Charizard to our team. I have a fascination with Charizard. Ever since I started playing Pokemon, I just thought Charizard was so cool. I also really like Charizard in the Pokemon anime. I think Ash's Charizard is just a very, very cool Pokemon. It's very resilient. It's battled through so much, and if you guys have kept up with the Pokemon anime, it's very, very strong too. It's took down legendaries, it's took down other super strong Pokemon. 
And it started from humble beginnings too. So that's just something that's always stuck with me when I see Charizard. It's a sign of progress. And progress is always great. I always tell my friends that if you're not learning a thing here or there, or if you're not working to improve yourself, you're not making progress and you're just really stuck where you are. So it's always a good thing to keep learning, to be curious, to ask questions, because that's how you grow. We got ourselves three mighty candies! And there are barricades here. So this is the good old Team Rocket layer. And this is gonna be a lot of fun to get through here. Getting some nostalgia for this place. What are you looking at? I'm a beautiful spy on an undercover mission. What's a child like you doing here? I'm here to be Team Rocket? Eh, you got attitude. I like that. Let me give you a present so you remember our little encounter. Yo, check it out! We got the Team Rocket set from the beautiful spy! Just wear that set. You'll feel as if you're a Team Rocket grunt. Although, you're too short to be a real grunt. They'd figure out you were in disguise immediately. But would they figure it out? So let's go ahead and equip our disguise. We're finally getting some different outfits. Check it out. It looks like Pikachu is also going to have a Team Rocket outfit to go along with ours. And that's pretty cool. I'm having a lot of fun with these outfits. I also like that they're just kind of giving them to us. I did not expect it to be that easy to find. I was wondering why the grunt was turned away from us. If it's a battle, they usually are spinning around looking at you. But if they're like hidden away and not looking directly at you, if they're staring at something, they usually have an item. Let's go with the Team Rocket bag. As I do like to try out all these different outfits. So check it out, we are in a Team Rocket outfit now. And it is time to keep on battling. Let's see how this outfit looks in the battles. I hope that we'll be finding more and more of them too. If you guys know where the outfits are located, be sure to give me a heads up so I don't overlook it. Here comes the gold bat, and as I told you guys, we're gonna be strong with our psychic Pokemon. It looks like I got Sore up in front though. Let's see what Sora can do against the Golbat. We are stronger by a little bit. The Haze has come out. All right, well, Golbat, no stat changes were in effect. So I think we're going to be okay, dude. I'm not too worried about that. Let's tank out the Swift. And we're good. We're good. No worries here, guys. Let's drop the Wing Attack. The Haze is going to keep on going. But we're gonna keep on pushing through. So let's drop that wing attack. And see, it did a good bit. It did a good bit. Maybe, just maybe, we won't need our Kadabra to take down all these grunts. I'm still gonna bring back our Kadabra, though. His vision is a crucial part of our team. That's it. We got some XP. You got XP. Wave through to 30. Getting much closer to that evolution. Hope you guys are ready for it. I've been waiting for our War Turtle to evolve. It's going to be awesome to see which of our Pokemon is going to hit that full evolution first. We got an Ultra Ball here. Let's see if I can do anything on this computer. Why can't we just like put put the laptop in our backpack? You know what I'm saying? We're pre you look at this. They got like four TVs over here. I mean, it might as well be a Black Friday sale. Can we get in on the action? You know what I'm talking about, guys? Can we get in on it? Please, give us a little bit. I'm going to keep going further down. And I do see one of the sliding puzzles coming up. And those are so much fun. Can't believe we're actually getting to do all this. All right, Team Rocket Grunt is going to send out a Hypno. Hypnos are a little bit terrifying. Some creepy about them. So we'll make sure to speed things up with this guy. Get him out the way. Let me drop this wing attack then. Hypno's only level 29 as well, so we're pretty good. We're pretty good, unless something comes out of nowhere that I'm not expecting. We should be able to take down Team Rocket. I'm really enjoying the fact that there are little cutscenes and little jokes and things like that with Team Rocket here as well. I think that's really cool. I've always enjoyed Team Rocket, that comedic aspect of it. I thought it was always great, although sometimes it can be repetitive in the Pokemon anime. I still think it's pretty funny. So let's switch it up. A quick attack is gonna do it. I also think that the one aspect that 
you know, makes you care about Team Rocket is that at times you see some of the good in them and it makes you wonder why are these guys doing what they do when they could be good people and that's what really brings you in to this game that there's a lot of characters like that where you start questioning what their motives are and if what they're doing is truly correct so before we go down here I'm gonna go on to the sliding puzzle yo this is so cool I was spinning all over the place we're getting a little bit dizzy I'm gonna get all these pokeballs we got an awakening that's solid which one should I take going down this one see I know what I'm doing don't you worry about that I'm pretty good at this TM05 rest that's a good TM to have let's go down this way now and now let's go down here that's good that's what I'm talking about and that is going to lead us deeper in we're about halfway through this puzzle right now so let's see if I can figure this bad boy out I don't want to go out that yet so I'm gonna ride this one up and see where it's gonna take us this is definitely how to do it so there we go we got ourselves a PP up as well much needed PP up we'll take it so this just brings us back on through all the way back on through so I'm just gonna ride it on back out oh okay okay so I'm gonna go up here and that's how we get to the other pokeball interesting interesting at least I'm getting this you know at least we're doing it we got ourselves a nugget and that's good you're gonna want that nugget I realize that you're gonna want to get as many helpful items as possible here because it can get pretty freaking tough all right let's go ahead and ride this out let's get out of this place as we've gotten pretty much everything that I wanted so not a whole lot left not a whole lot indeed so I'm gonna go down this way and we are almost out of here as you can see there is something to the right so that is where we are going to go very very cool there's an elevator here it doesn't appear to work without a key hmm so we are gonna need a key ladies and gents let's keep an eye out for it more grunts and let's jump into battle I'm glad I made it through that puzzle though it wasn't too bad at all I have a lot of fun going into puzzles and figuring them out I'm big into puzzles I've always had a lot of fun with them I told you guys previously that I like mysteries and I like figuring them out and it's the same way with puzzles I've always been pretty good at them and I like trying them out so let's drop the quick attack here on the Voltorb Sword is close to going down and that Thundershock is going to do it it's alright Sor thank you for hanging in there and helping us out alright attack is level 30 I know you guys want to see a Charizard because I definitely want to too so we will keep on pushing through until we get it I'm dropping the Dragon Rage here and there goes the Voltorb I also want to thank you guys so much for all the tips and comments that you guys have been leaving me I'm really glad that you guys are having fun with the adventure I've been having a lot of fun too I've been making the videos a little bit longer so we can cover more since I'd rather do that than have to put up two different videos which could take definitely more time to get through everything so I hope you guys have been enjoying that it's just something that I'm trying out make sure to leave me your feedback on what you guys are thinking how the series is going I always appreciate it and I'm always open to hearing from you guys intruder alert we're wearing the team rocket outfit how can you even tell look at look at us you could we could bypass for a Team Rocket grunt, right? 
I've never seen a Pokemon wearing Team Rocket gear. So our Pikachu sure as heck isn't passing for it. But I think we would, right? Right? I was also talking to this guy in the Pokemon Center. The guy that looks like he's from the circus, like he's the ringleader. And he's the one that offers Pikachu moves. He was offering me a flying type move for Pikachu. So if you guys are interested, definitely talk to him here in the Celadon Pokemon Center. Hit the guy up. He'll teach you some moves. There's a lot of good moves in this game for Pikachu. For your starter in general. Maple grew to 30. Attack grew to 31. Arbok. Yeah, that's it. We're going to make sure to take it down with Loki. Loki, you're going to be getting all the XP for the rest of our Pokemon. And they are appreciating it. Because Loki is level 32. And we've been schooling pretty much everyone that Loki goes up against. So let's drop one more Thunderbolt. And that's going to do it. I remember this one comment that you guys left me about Loki too. It was like, Rodri, Loki wasn't a superhero in Avengers. He isn't. He's more of like an anti-hero. But you got to give the man a little credit. You know, at least he's out there and he's trying. Which is a lot more than than people are doing. So that's why I kind of say, you know, he's an anti-hero for sure. I've always had something for anti-heroes. I feel like I understand it. Just the need to achieve what you want without, you know, caring much of how you get there. It's definitely a, a scary thought, but it's effective. It definitely can be effective. So I didn't find anything up here either. I thought we were supposed to get ourselves the key. I can't click on these laptops. There's some plans here. These guys, you guys got anything? Okay, I'll talk. If you want to find the boss, take the elevator. We are going to take the elevator, but before we do that, we need a little help. We need an item around here. Let me check this garbage can. Nothing here in this garbage can. And it looks like these guys don't have much to offer us. So I'm going to make our way back on down to the lower floor. Since there was still one more floor that we needed to explore. So let's go down it. We know where we're going now. Little by little, we're starting to connect the dots here. There's a little Pokeball for us. And we'll keep on battling the Team Rocket Grunts. Whenever I battle these Grunts here at their base... I feel like Kanto especially was the one region that made me wonder how the heck they end up recruiting all of these people. Why would you ever want to be a part of Team Rocket and not just go on your own journey? It just doesn't make sense to me. You live in a world of Pokemon and you're going to decide to work for a criminal organization like Team Rocket? Come on, man. Like, Are you really thinking things through? Are you sure you wouldn't want to have a cool group of Pokemon to have fun adventures with rather than be someone's goon just doesn't make sense so we got ourselves TM20 Dark Pulse it's a solid TM and we found a guard spec good for us good for us indeed <laughs> now we need to find a way to get onto that elevator so that's what we're looking for here guys another little Pokeball and that's gonna be a revive all right, game. All right, game. If you're going to be giving us revives, I might as well bring back some of our Pokemon. Get them all healed up. I do have 10 revives. So I'm pretty set. I've been buying things for us as we go. I haven't been picking up repels because they're not a necessity, though. It's kind of funny that they sell repels. Although you can just dodge Pokemon. So that's something that I've been wondering about. If you really just are bad at dodging Pokemon, I guess that's when you would choose to use those repels. But I'm pretty good at it. I've been doing it for a long time. Lots of experience dodging trainers and Pokemon. Left or right? I'm going to go left. This feels pretty good. This feels pretty good. If you're finding the Pokeballs, then you're definitely heading in the right direction. Just keep doing that. And you'll be okay. Hmm. Let's go down. Let's go down this way. I like it. I like it. This definitely looks better 
than the other option, and it's leading us a little bit further on down. You have to remember how huge the Team Rocket base is here in Celadon City. This is the center of their organization. This is where they handle their business. So these guys are always, always packed in here. Ratata level 29. Yo, Team Rocket Grunt, I'm gonna give you a tip, dude. You're gonna wanna evolve that Pokemon. You could be doing much better in battle. Can they get someone to train them? Like, can they get a coach in Team Rocket? That's what Team Rocket needs. They need a coach to coach up their trainers. If you were telling me you got a Team Rocket organization with a hundred Team Rocket employees, and these guys can't take down a couple kids, you seriously need some training in your organization. You really need some leadership, you know? You need some of that, some of that leadership building. Get your trainers together. Get them to step it up. Because you are losing battles often. So why wouldn't you want to train your guys up? Come on, Team Rocket. Get it together, get it together. I'm a firm believer in quality over quantity. If you have the quality, you don't need as many trainers. And that's how Team Rocket is. They're more so quantity rather than the quality of trainer. Got a PP up? Yeah, thank you for that, thank you for that. And over here we got ourselves a Hyper Potion. There's also a map of Kanto. I wish we could click on these posters. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's that? You say the elevator doesn't work? Of course not, I've been keeping the lift key safe this whole time. Here we go, guys. We're gonna be battling the Team Rocket Grump that has the key to the elevator. He's gonna send out a Grimer. There we go. Look at you guys, Team Rocket, mixing it up a little bit and sending out different Pokemon that we haven't had the chance to see yet. So I'm gonna drop the side beam here, guys. And there's nothing to it but to do it. It is super effective and the poor Grimer is down. Vision is growing to level 31. Told you guys we were gonna be getting a lot of XP in. We surely are. And that's it, we defeated the Team Rocket Grunt. We got 8-12 for winning, but how about you give us a little something else too? Now, how am I supposed to keep you from taking the lift key? Guess I'll have to use my own kind of struggle. I hope my bosses don't hear about this! Did he just grab that Pokeball and chuck it up somewhere? Without that key, there's no way you'll make it to the boss. Hey, if you think you can get it back up from up there, then I'd sure like to see you try. Are you kidding me? That is so evil. That is so evil, dude. How the heck am I supposed to get that key now? We gotta figure this out. We gotta figure this out. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do this thing. All right, you see that there's like a... If there were steps to it or something, maybe it would be possible to reach the top from here. Oh. Look around and see if you can find something you can climb up on. What about these boxes over here? Can't lift. What about this chair? Can I lift this chair? There we go. So I moved the chair on over. See, I knew this is what we were going to be able to do. Up you go. Check it out! As soon as I saw that air vent, I knew we'd be able to Spider-Man on through here. Now's the time for your partner to shine. Get the key that the Team Rocket grunt through. Am I Pikachu? No way! I get to play as Pikachu in this game? You've got to be kidding me. No way! They got Pikachu puzzles in here? That's it. That's all I've been waiting for. As soon as Pokemon being used for puzzles comes into the equation, they've done it. They've done it. This is what I'm talking about. You guys have no idea how great it is to use a little Pikachu. It opens a world of possibilities for puzzles. I've been talking about it forever, and I cannot believe it's actually happening. 
This has got to be the coolest part of Pokemon Let's Go so far. Getting to play as our Pikachu, and with that, Loki got the Lift Key. Did you hear something just now? I did. There was definitely a noise. Could it be an intruder? Never mind. It must have just been a Meowth's hungry tummy. Don't get me all worried over nothing. All right, Pikachu. The boss's version is so elegant. And that fake out move it uses, it always makes an opponent flinch in battle. It's strong and cool. Strong and cool indeed. It's kind of funny just listening to these two. Oh, congratulations, Jesse. You know, my coughing evolved into wheezing too. We can listen to these two talk all day. Can we, can we jump down? And there we go. Loki came back to us. And we got the lift key. That is just amazing. I'm so happy about the way they did that puzzle. That's what I'm talking about, Pokemon. Way to go. Way to go. If they add more of that in the coming generation, we're up for a really fun time. We really are. Got myself a rare candy. And now, we are ready to make our way back to the elevator. So far, so good here in the Team Rocket base. I'm gonna ride this one. We're gonna go over here. This is looking good. I like it, I like it, I like it. And we're gonna go down this one. I remember this. No worries now, guys. No worries now. We're just chilling as we make our way on through to the elevator. So our team is ready. We've took down a lot of Team Rocket grunts. We figured out the puzzles. I also want to know who the heck is designing this place. Who do they hire? Seriously, who are they hiring to do all this? So, let's make our way to B4F. Now that we're in B4F, let's take a look around and see what we can find around this place. We got an elixir. That's pretty good. I'll take all the elixirs we can get. And would you look at that. You, you that twerp from Mount Moon. Just how long are you going to follow us around? I know I'm beautiful, but what do you want? We want to rescue Cubone. What? That Cubone? Huh, we've already gave the poor thing to the boss. It doesn't matter. There's no way we're letting you through to see the boss. It's payback time for those fossils from Mount Moon, you brat. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Rodri versus Team Rockets, Jesse and James. It's time for another round against the Deadly Duo. We got a Weezing and an Arbuck out. So as you guys heard, they've evolved their Pokemon. They're getting stronger. We're getting stronger. The battles are getting tougher. And the challenges are getting more and more fun. So let's drop the side beam onto the Weezing. Close to going down. Arbok is going for the glare. But we're going to hang tight. We're going to sit back and take out the Weezing. So that's the first Pokemon out of here. Sorry, James. We had to do it to you, man. We had to do it to you. Even though you're a charming fella, we're going to have to do it to you, man. So let's take down the Arbok. And the wing attack should just about do it. Crunch is coming out. Oh, no! I did not expect that. Good job, Arbok. Good job. A little unexpected. So let's end our attack at level 31 right now. He attacks. He protects. He is ready to take down anyone. So let's use that Dragon Rage, and I'm going to drop the Quick Attack. Hopefully this will be enough to take down the level 32 Arbok. Ooh, not quite yet, not quite yet. Attack is paralyzed. Attack, you got to snap out of it, my man. You got to snap out of it. We need you to clutch it up here for us. So one more quick attack. 
And that's it. Arbok is down. Awesome. Good work, Sor. Good work indeed. We're getting some mad XP. We defeated Team Rocket, Jesse, and James. Such a dreadful tour. But I was so confident this time. We got 3072 for winning. And these four guys. Hmm, how infuriating. Don't let it go to your head just because your Pokemon were a teeny tiny bit stronger. Exactly. And even if you did defeat us in battle, we're still bigger and stronger than you. We'll just use brute force too. Ew. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. So there we have it. We took down Team Rocket. What a day, what a day. Wait. Just one look at this Silphscope, and it's plain to see. Silphco definitely has the technology and skill Team Rocket will need to make our wishes come true. Hmm. A machine that lets you see what otherwise cannot be seen. It's nothing but a useless toy. Still, yes, this could do. Carry on, Archer, with your plans to take over Silphco for Team Rocket. Yes, sir. What is a child doing here? You listened in on a conversation without saying a word. I don't much care for that. I am Archer, an admin of Team Rocket, and I do not go easy, even on children. Here we go! Raj reverses Archer, Team Rocket's admin. He's got two Pokemon, and this is the battle we've been waiting for. So he's gonna send out a Weezing. I have Soar up in front, and we will see what Soar can do here. Soar, we believe in you. I'm dropping the sand attack here. I'm excited to see what Archer has. It's also very, very cool to see Archer out here. And he looks awesome. It's great to see that Team Rocket's admins have gotten a makeover themselves. Let's see if we can tank out the Sludge Bomb. Ooh! That did a lot. That did a lot. This is the battle. This is the one we've been waiting for. So just hang in there a little bit, Sore. I'm going to go for the Roost. This is why we have it. This is the main reason for this roost. I may not use it very often, but it is a pretty good move. Oh, boy! I'm gonna get on the offensive one more time then. We're gonna drop the wing attack. And I believe that's gonna be it. The sludge bomb has took down Soar. Archer is not messing around here. Not one bit. Vision is out. Attack is paralyzed. So let's send out Loki in the Team Rocket outfit. We're still undercover. We're still undercover, guys. No worries. Nobody's figured this out. Archer just thinks he's battling a Team Rocket grunt for fun. Let's drop that Thunderbolt. And it's looking good. The Weezing is paralyzed. Here comes another Sludge Bomb. All right, at least we didn't get poison. If we got poison, that would have been bad. Thunderbolt is going to do it, so Weezing is down. Archer has one Pokemon left to go. We'll see what that Pokemon is. And it's going to be a Golbat. So we aren't going to wait any longer. We're going to keep our Pikachu out. And I feel confident wrapping up this battle. Loki, go for that Zippy Zap. I need a big crit. And that almost took down the Golbat. If we can tank this out, that's going to do it, ladies and gents. Ooh, Loki fainted. Good try, Loki. Good try. It was very, very close. So let's send out Wave out here. And Wave should be able to wrap this battle up. Golbat is 33. We're 30. We got Scald. Let's tank out this Air Slash. And that'll be it. We flinched? No way. At least it didn't do half my health. And there we go. The Scald is going to hit, and Wave has done it. Golbat is down. Cut it out. Get out of here. Get out of here, Archer. Wave is going to grow to level 31. And everybody else is gaining some XP. We defeated Team Rocket Admin, Archer. What a blunder. We got 3,300 for winning. F forgive me, Giovanni. For me to be defeated by a simple child. It looks like Giovanni is up ahead. And look who he has by his side. 
That is the little Cubone that Team Rocket kidnapped last time. Let me heal up a little bit. We'll bring Vision back in here. I also have a couple potions, a couple things here and there. So I think we'll be A-OK. -okay. So let's go ahead and talk to Giovanni. So, you defeated Archer. I must say, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. And I am the leader of this enterprise, Giovanni. What? You want me to release the Cubone? <laughs> you came barging into our hideout just for that? What an amusing child. But for your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen! Rodri versus Giovanni! We're challenged by Team Rocket's boss, Giovanni. He's got two Pokemon. He's gonna open things up with a Persian and check it out. That is the first Persian we've seen here in this adventure, and it looks wild. It looks very, very cool. So I'm gonna drop the side beam here. The slash is gonna be coming out. No way! That just did an insane amount of damage. As you guys can see, Persian is level 35. So this ain't no joke out here. This ain't no joke. Oh my goodness, you've got to be freaking kidding me. It's time to switch out to Tack. If you guys remember, Tack has the one move that could take down this Persian on our team. It's time to go for it. Tank it out, Tack. Tank it out. We did. I'm going for the brick, brick, brickety, brick, 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 brickety. It only did half. Oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. I hope you guys are ready. I threw us right into a tough battle. I did not mess around at all. I chucked us right into a tough battle without healing us up, without getting all of our Pokemon healed up. Wow! That Persian does so much. I'm gonna use the revive on Loki. We're gonna get our Pokemon ready here. If I would have had our team fully healed, this would be much, much easier. But you guys know how it goes. I'm gonna make things much tougher on us than they need to be. So Persian level 30. I wonder how much the Zippy Zap will do to it. We're about to find out. There's a reason we got the priority crit move. That did a good bit. Not as much as the crazy slash. It's KOing all of my Pokemon. But it did a good bit. Now we just have wave left. But I think we're going to be okay. I'm feeling good here. I trust our team. I trust our Pokemon. Let's use the revive. On Loki. Now if it comes down to it, we'll have the Zippy Zap ready to go. Tank it out, Wave. Tank it out. Woo! Boy, this Persian is crazy strong. Make sure you guys are prepared for it. I definitely underestimated Giovanni. And you shouldn't be doing that. Not against the big boss. So let's drop the Zippy Zap. And that's it. Persian is down. Level 35 Persian. Get out of here. Let's see what's coming out next. It's going to be a Rhyhorn. So there we have it. It's Rhyhorn that has come out. So let's go ahead. Get Wave and Maple ready. We're also going to have to step it up here against a level 35 Pokemon. Drill Run. We survived with 1 HP, thank goodness! Great work, Loki. We appreciate you more than you realize. We really, really do. I'm gonna use that Super Potion on Wave. And this is gonna be it. The Drill Run's coming back out. Loki is down. Woo, man, what a battle. What a day. So let's switch out 
We'll bring out Wave here. I want to see if we'll be able to tank out a move. And I'm not going to completely throw this battle out the window just yet. We're going to revive Maple. So we do have another option. We avoided the Mega Horn, which is great for us. I'm going to be going for the Skull. We need some big damage. That's it. Rhyhorn is down. It's super effective. It was only the Persian that gave us some trouble. We got some XP. All our party Pokemon got some XP. And we defeated Team Rocket's boss, Giovanni. What? This can't be. We got 5,600 for winning. So I too am defeated by a child. Do as you wish with that Cubone. And take this as my apology for mocking you as a child. Giovanni gave us the Silscope. So we're going to put the Silphscope in our bag. I can see you race Pokemon with utmost care. But you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. But I hope we will meet and battle again. I'm sure we will, Giovanni. I'm sure we will. Cubone headed back to Lavender Town. Maybe with the Silphscope, you'll be able to find out the identity of that ghost? Cubone seems to have gone home on its own. Why don't you get out of here too and try to figure out how to use that Silph scope or something. Or something indeed. So guys, we took down Giovanni. We rescued the Cubone. And that was our main mission coming into this. So now let's get on out. I can't use an escape rope to get out of this place. So we're just going to have to ride the elevator on out of here. B2F. Let's go to B1F. Let's see where this is going to take us. I'm down to go to B1F. We checked out just about everything in this place. So why not just check out the exit? There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've made our way through the Team Rocket base. And what a crazy day it has been. Well, thank you guys. Thank you for all the, you know, known Pokemon coins that you gave me. I couldn't even gamble anything. I was trying to do a little bit of gambling. But it seems like you guys don't want to let us. So if you guys don't want to let us do any Pokemon cash gambling, you know, that's how it's going to go. So we made our way out. And check it out. Strange vehicle with a bunch of balloons attached to it. Oh, you're curious, aren't you? You're curious about me and this machine. Yeah, we do want to know. What is that thing? This machine is a great vehicle that allows you to fly in the sky. How does that work? It's not an exaggeration to say that this is a secret technique. Even though I worked really hard on this, nobody wants to try it. You seem to be a courageous young boy. I'll tell you how to ride this machine. The secret technique, Sky Dash. Oh, that Pikachu wants to fly my invention instead of you? Great, it matches my inspiration perfectly. All right, let's get right to it. Do this and that, hold this handle and pull, and then I will be like that, and with these balloons, you're in the air. Loki learned the secret technique, Sky Dash. Check that out. So Loki can now Sky Dash. You can have this machine, so be sure to enjoy many trips through the sky. Yo! We can take trips through the sky now? Let's go ahead and check this out. Loki looks tired. I get ya. Some tough battles. So we'll go ahead and make our way to the Pokemon Center. And heal up our Pokemon a little bit. As I'm sure they've been through quite a lot today. We really, really have, guys. We've been through so much. So let's go ahead and rest up our Pokemon. How's it going, Nurse Joy? I gotta tell you, we've seen a lot of Nurse Joys in our time, but none of them looked like you. You know what I'm saying, Nurse Joy? Maybe they did. Maybe they did, but maybe not. You know what I'm saying? You see, I know you know what I'm saying, Nurse Joy. You get it. You get it. So now that we have our brand new secret technique, let's try it out. Loki, are you happy, buddy? Drool is dripping from Loki's mouth. Oh, you want a berry, dude? All right, what kind of, why is he drooling, dude? You want, you want one of these pineapples, dude? Here you go, man. Is your mouth, I don't know. Hey, are you happy? You gonna stop drooling now, dude? You gonna get it together? I'm trying to use your secret technique. So we have Sky Dash. So as you can see, Sky Dash is what allows us to now travel faster across the region. Very, very cool. We can't use it to get the Saffron yet, but we can use it to get to other areas, which I definitely like. So let's go ahead and make our way back on out of here. We're all healed up. 
We're in Route 7, and there's still a couple trainers that I wanted to battle here. So let's go ahead and take these guys on as we loop on back. We're challenged by Coach Trainer Alpesh. He's going to send out a Farfetch. This is the first Farfetch we've seen. Pretty cool to see it as well. Little Farfetch is always an interesting Pokemon. I always thought that there was something more to Farfetch, because you'd be able to trade for one. And I always thought that there was just something special about this Pokemon that there must be, right? It has a stick. It's cool. It's like rare. But nope, it's just the Farfetch'd. That's pretty much the gist of it. So let's see who is going to come out next. We're getting next P. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. It's going to be a wiggly tough. I'm going to keep Vision out for now. This is good XP. Let's call it a little bit of a cooldown for our Pokemon. After all the insane battles that just took place. I didn't expect us to take on Giovanni like that. But I'm glad we did. It made it more exciting. It makes it a lot of fun when you gotta go through some challenges. So let's send out Loki. We're at level 33. I will be training up our Pokemon a little bit. So for those of you guys that are wondering, I just need to get around to catching Pokemon. And if I get around to catching them off screen, I've even thought about possibly just, you know, connecting a bunch of the chains and hopefully finding a shiny. Which would be absolutely amazing. If I could find a shiny in here, that would be very, very cool. Keep on sending me tweets with your shinies and everything that you guys have found. It's always interesting. I love looking through those things and to see how your adventures are going. So we defeated the coach trainer. We got 3,000 for winning. And with that, we obtained TM12 Facade. So I knew this guy had something for us. We'll take it. Facade is actually a really good move if used correctly. You can do a lot of damage. There's also this trainer here as well. How many gym badges do we have? That's for you to find out. That's for you to find out. So we're challenged by Ace Trainer Yvette. And there's a Raichu. Very, very cool. Now, one other thing that you guys have told me is that... I can trade our Pokemon that, you know, we find here for other Pokemon from Alola. Now, that's something to keep in mind. I'm probably going to get KO'd here. All right, the light screen is coming out. I do have the Brick Break. So, if it comes down to it, we will be doing that. But, as I was saying, you can trade, for example, Geodude for an Alolan Geodude. But, personally, I've just been holding out on that. I've decided that I'm not going to be using a Lolan Pokemon. I've used the Lolan Pokemon before. I've used them quite a bit. I've played through Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So, you know, I've had my share of a Lolan Pokemon. For now, I'm going to stick to the Pokemon we're finding here. We're paralyzed. Wow, I thought we might be able to actually get off a dig here in time. That's it. Wave is down. We're not faster than the Raichu, that's for sure. Raichu ain't no joke. I'm gonna send out Tack. Hopefully Tack will be able to take down this Raichu. It's only level 28. I don't know how this guy's giving us so much trouble when we just took down Giovanni. We can take down the Team Rocket boss. But apparently we can't take down a freaking Raichu out here. And there we go. I'm just gonna Dragon Rage this guy down. It's cool that our Charmeleon has Dragon Rage. You wouldn't really expect it. I guess you could. Because Charmeleon does kind of look like a dragon. It's one of those things if you're new to Pokemon. That I could see where your thought process is. Attack grew to level 32. And now let's see who's coming out. Maple grew to 31. Solid. Wants to learn Razor Leaf. I've been waiting for that one. Seriously, Razor Leaf is decent. Vine Whip, we barely use. So let's go ahead and get rid of it. Maple definitely needs some better moves. So we will have to keep an eye out for that. All right, the light screen wore off. Doug Trio is coming out. And you guys already know whose turn it is. So let's get Maple out here. As Maple should be able to take down the Doug Trio. We'll have to see about that. Cool to see the Doug Trio here. I get so much nostalgia every time I see these Pokemon come out. So every time 
you catch me seeing a Pokemon for the first time in this game, you know, that's why. That's why I'll stare in awe for a little bit. The Duck Trio is close to going down. I'm gonna go for it. Here comes the Earthquake. It's gonna take us down. But you know I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit, guys. That's how it goes. I'm gonna risk it whenever we can. So let's send out Soar. And let's wrap this battle up. Let's wrap this battle up. I'm glad I didn't battle these trainers the first time going through this route. It would have been tough. <laughs> it would have been much tougher. So the quick attack is gonna do it. Duck Trio is down. Just one more Pokemon left, and we are gonna find out what that Pokemon is. It's a seal. A seal. Okay. I'm gonna keep going for the quick attacks on this seal. It's level 28. The Ice Shard is gonna do a lot, but we're gonna do even more, because I'm pushing through. We got the Roost, we got the quick attacks. We got a good team who can take down just about anyone. Let's keep this up, Sora. Let's keep this up. I'm gonna drop a roost. Ooh! The ice shard came out. And that was a crit. Ouch! You really gonna do us like that, Seal? Then we're gonna do you like that. It's time to send out Loki. Loki is still out here in the Team Rocket outfit. So until you guys tell me where to find some more cool outfits, we might just have to rock this outfit. Let's drop the Thunderbolt, and that should do it. Seal is out of here, ladies and gents, which is great, which is great. So we're going to gain a bunch of XP for that. Loki grew to 34, although I was hoping everyone else would grow to 34. At least we got the XP, so we'll take it, we'll take it. Let's make our way on through to the underground path then, guys, as we are headed back to Lavender Town. It's time for us to make our way back up the Pokemon Tower. It took a while for us to get the Silph Scope, but we did it. We got the item, and now we're headed on back. I'm having a blast though. It feels crazy to get to do all of this again. I remember the first time I went through all of this as a kid, and now actually getting to play through it with you guys. I never thought this is what I'd be doing. I never thought that I began to play through such a cool game with you guys at this age you know I'm just really really glad that this is how life turned out and that's why I tell you guys even if things look dim at times life tends to always shape up and push you in the way that you should be it'll push you in the right direction so with that guys we've officially made it back to Lavender Town and next time we'll be continuing from here so make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button as it really does help the series. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Goodbye.